DM073 Gaming is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. If you're looking for pre-orders of the upcoming sets, including singles or booster boxes of previous sets that have come out, you can check the link down below. Happy Little Hug Factory also has a buy list for Force of Will, so you can get rid of those extra cards you have laying around and turn it into new upcoming product. Thanks so much, guys. Check them out and enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck list for the Lumia Elementals list. Sorry it's a day late, uh, this list was sent to me, you know, obviously you saw Jason play it. It is a very, very fun take on Lumia. Um, it's designed to be more fun, it's designed to kind of make use of some pretty silly interactions um, that I think we just haven't ever really seen before on the channel, or, you know, just if you're looking for something fun to play at Locals, this is definitely a fun list. Um, it doesn't really abuse Lumia Rachel like some people are concerned, uh, but obviously GP results haven't shown that anyway so let's go ahead and jump right in obviously our ruler is Lumia um, we use it so that we can do the flickering of rested resonators um, but this list does do judgment and has the ability to get that lifelink and imperishable um, it's also its main way primarily to deal with things like Abdul because this deck doesn't actually have like hardly any spells in it uh, and our stone wise we play four gusting skies two awakened magic stone the earth and then four Prisia's memoria um, so just so you can get extra green white but i also could see you easily uh, playing the green white countdown stone if you don't want to play the shock rock um, going into the deck we play four leaf wing and four leaf fighter reason for that is we need those to be able to play our leaf golems cheaper um, and then leaf garb helps to get your leaf golems into the grave um, to be able to obviously play them you don't really want to draw these from your hand if you can because um, they can be summoned at instant speed if it's in your graveyard as opposed to if it's just on the field or in your hand uh, then we play four Orphica. This is a way to be able to flicker things like Riula and Viola without having to rely on um, as well as leaf garb without having to rely on Lumia uh, Riula is the one who lets you reload all of your removed from game um, elementals. Viola is the one that can remove all your elementals from your graveyard from the game to get you bunches of different effects and then can also awaken to pull out Riula. So like as a four drop you can get like a ton of effects out of this by banishing a bunch, bring back Riula and then you know get all that stuff back um the other thing is viola is primarily the one you're going to kind of keep flickering at end of turn so you can kind of like keep drawing cards put stuff back on the bottom of its owner's deck produce extra green for end of the play turn kind of thing it's pretty interesting and then we play four riula alabaster dragon princess because we can heal lumia because we do kill with lumia obviously but then also um viola and riula here are both two drop dragonoids so you can bring them back with viola Alabaster, alabaster dragon princess we play two Rachel, because if you're playing green Lumia, you might as well play at least a couple of Rachels to be able to flicker and search your deck. Um, it's also really helpful to be able to grab these Nyarlathoteps, um, which can give your Lumia that imperishable and lifelink. Never really going to play this card, it's just primarily just going to be used to get uh, Lumia that imperishable and lifelink. Two Kage's Moonbeam Butterfly to be able to get consistency out and grab maybe the Leaf Wing or the Leaf Fighter that you can't quite find to make Leaf Golem a thing. Two Great Tornado, because it's an excellent way to tap down your creatures without having to worry about attacking, and it serves as uh, any kind of hate you need. And then a Rendezvous of Light, because this board can get pretty wide pretty quick, and then you give everything suddenly plus four plus four uh, forever, and you can just finish the game off that way. So, pretty straightforward list. It is a ton of fun. Jason has, again, described it as being kind of gimmicky, but if you're looking to play some kind of silly fun stuff at your locals, uh, or just kind of play around with Lumia's flicker effect and you want to use a lot of green stuff, this is definitely a list that I think you would enjoy playing. Um, but that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DM073, signing off. Huge thanks to the patrons of the channel. You see their names here on the screen as well as down below in the description. They are what help make this channel run and help me do these awesome projects for you guys. If you feel like joining the channel and get access to all the cool perks that come with being a patron, click on the P on the screen or the link down below. Thanks so much. See you next time.